here we are fixing a shoulder labral tear that occurred because of a dislocation and you can see this probe is demonstrating how the labrum was torn loose. Here we are freshening up the surface of the bone to receive the labral repair. We're using a shaver that helps remove old tissue and non-viable tissue. And so this is where we start to place our suture anchors into the bone and we're passing this suture that you can see the different colored suture through the labrum and this is going to allow us to bring that soft tissue labrum that causes a suction effect to hold the ball in back up to the bone and so here we are passing the sutures we're now tying some knots and you can see we're doing this all through the scope all arthroscopically and you can see how we're able to pull the labrum back up and once we've placed our sutures we're able to use these specialized instruments to perforate the labrum in a very small way and secure it with the sutures and we're able to pass these sutures through these little cannulas and then we're able to uh, tie the knots and secure the labrum back up to the bone which then provides a normal environment for the the ball and socket joint of the shoulder to prevent a dislocation and so here we are we're, we're starting at the five o'clock position on the clock face down to the right now we're sort of at the three o'clock position tying our sutures and you can already see the labrum is really being pushed right back up against the bone where it needs to be. See the probe demonstrates that we're able to place that labrum back up against the bone securely. Here we are using an instrument to place our anchor into the bone. And so this is a drill guide that allows us to place a small drill hole into the side of the bone below the joint surface so we're not injuring any part of the joint. And you can see we're drilling a hole here and then we're going to place an anchor and that anchor has an eyelet there that has several sutures, several really strong powerful sutures that we're then able to pass through the labrum. Here we are impacting that small little anchor into the bone and this is something that you'll never see or feel. It's kind of like a filling in a tooth. It's just kind of inside the bone. So you can see our sutures here and then we're going to use again the tissue perforator to pass the suture through the labrum and that allows us to then secure this soft tissue up against this bony interface here. And so this is called a bird beak suture passer. We're able to grab the suture and manipulate it all through the scope and tie our knots arthroscopically. And so here we're finishing this final suture here as we're tying the knots. And this is up at the one o'clock position on the clock face and you can see we're tying these knots and the labrum's coming up against the bone really nice and snug and that gives that suction effect that we're after and the stability in the shoulder that we need and so here we are tying our final knot and you can already see the labrum from left to right there lying up against the the bony glenoid there here we are cutting the suture and then we're going to place a probe in and look at how nice and tight this labrum is so that's a demonstration of a labor repair and a slap lesion as well.